Okay, this is an exercise that I found online and it is played by one of the West Coast High School drum lines. Uh, I believe they actually won the indoor national contest last year uh, in their classification for WGI. Uh, Ayala uh, High School. And this is the Ayala paradiddle exercise. And I'm not really going to explain much of it. I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's an exercise which takes you through several different variations of playing paradiddles. Uh, it's a fairly easy exercise to play. I'm not going to play it very fast. I'm going to play it slowly, so maybe you can play along. Uh, but this is a good one. Uh, there are a lot of things that I find on the internet. I'll get a PDF and I'll look at it and I go, oh, that's okay. This is a real good one. Uh, and I think this would be good for for high school students uh, who are beyond the basic paradiddle stage. So take a look at this. Hopefully I can see this without my glasses. And we'll play this at 120 and maybe a couple of lines at a time. And it repeats itself. There's, there's a right hand lead and a left hand lead for the exercise. So, all right. So this is Ayala paradiddle exercise. And we'll do maybe, let's do the first couple of lines. So here's the first two lines. Okay. The next two lines will be the same thing, only starting on the left. So here's line three and four. And you want to play nice and relaxed. No tension in the arms. So let's play the first four lines. Here we go. One, two, three, and. Now, to this point, everything has been fairly simple, all right? Paradiddles, uh, paradiddle diddles. When we get to the fifth line, we've got a that, followed by two puttadas, which is a right, left, left. So we have, all right? So it's sort of goes off in the left field and then we do it with the left so let's do those two measures uh, those two lines measure line up uh, line five and line six one two three okay and then at the end we have the last two lines, paradiddle diddle, putta da putta da paradiddle. Paradiddle diddle, putta da putta da paradiddle. And then we have just a, a little tag on the end which is. All right, and an unexpected flam on the end. So if we play the last two lines, it goes like this. So let's see if we can play the whole thing. I haven't done this too many times. Let's see if I can play the whole thing. Here we go from the beginning. And one, two, three. Okay, so that's a good one. Uh, obviously, uh, the percussion students at that school are very well trained, and this is just one part of their training regimen. Uh, there are many other exercises that they do, but 
try this one. I think you'll like it. Uh, play it slower than that if you need to. Get the heights down. I mean, two heights. Tap height, accent height. Everything is relaxed. Everything you play is nice and relaxed, and everything is bounce. A bounce, a double stroke. Okay? So, practice this. Stay tuned for other, other exercises that I find on the internet. Lots of stuff out there. Back in my day, you learn an exercise, you learned it from someone writing it out and passing it on, or you saw somebody play it in, in person, and then you try to remember it, or you played a record, or you played a tape, uh, but nowadays you can get on YouTube and find all kind of things. So uh, it's great to be able to do that and see how other people are teaching their students and how they are having success at this thing we call percussion. So. Stay tuned. Keep on drumming.